The tropical and sidereal zodiac. The tropical zodiac. The zodiac used in the western system called the tropical zodiac is no longer based on the stars. It does not correspond to observable positions. The beginning of the tropical zodiac, 0 degree Aries, is identical with the vernal equinox, the place of the sun on the first day of spring, and not with any fixed stars. The tropical zodiac is not based upon the stars, but on the orientation of the earth to the sun. The tropics of Cancer and Capricorn denote the places of the sun at the summer and winter solstices. The tropical zodiac begins with the sun's place at the vernal equinox, which it designates as the beginning of Aries, zero degrees. It regards the position of the sun at the summer solstice as zero degrees Cancer. It regards the position of the sun at the autumnal equinox as zero degrees Libra. It regards the position of the sun at the winter solstice as zero degrees Capricorn. Thus, the seasons mark the cardinal points of the tropical zodiac. The name tropical comes from the Greek word tropikos, meaning turn. The tropics of Cancer and Capricorn mark the extreme north and south latitudes, plus 23.5 degrees and minus 23.5 degrees, where the sun appears directly overhead on solstices, and where it appears to turn in its annual seasonal motion known in Vedic astronomy as Dakshinayana and Uttarayana. The Sidereal Zodiac The zodiac that corresponds to the actual constellations or the fixed stars is called the Sidereal Zodiac. The Vedic system uses the Sidereal Zodiac. The Vedic Zodiac or Rashi Chakra regards the beginning of Aries 0 degrees as the actual constellation Aries, which is the end of the nakshatra Revati, the last among the 27 nakshatras. The word sidereal comes from the Latin word sidus, meaning star. The tropical zodiac is not the real zodiac because the orientation of the equinoxes with respect to the distant stars changes over time due to the precession of the earth on its axis. Over a period of 24,000 years, the vernal equinox point traverses the full circuit of the actual zodiac, Rashi Chakra. Hence, according to the western system, the starting point of Aries also traverses the full circuit. Around 2000 years ago, when western astrology was in its formative stages, the two zodiacs coincided. Since then, because of precession, the two zodiacs have been slowly moving apart. Therefore, the tropical zodiac shows the actual astronomical positions of some 2000 years ago and not the current astronomical positions. Ayanamsha The tropical zodiac is also called Sayana in Sanskrita. Sayana means with Ayana. Ayana referring to precession. Sayana means that the starting point of Aries is determined with reference to the precessed equinox point. The sidereal zodiac is also called Nirayana in Sanskrit. Nirayana means without Ayana. Nirayana means that the starting point of Aries is determined without reference to a precessed point, but to the actual observed position of the distant stars. The difference between the tropical and sidereal zodiacs is called Ayanamsha. It is the difference between the point of vernal equinox and that of the first point of the constellation Aries. The Ayanamsha, as calculated by Sri Yukteswar, is 21 degrees and 46 minutes. One of the methods to determine zero degree Aries is to use the end point of the last nakshatra, Revati, as we have seen. Another method to determine zero degree Aries is to use the nakshatra Chitra and place the beginning of the zodiac exactly opposite or 180 degrees from it. The Hindu Units of Time A modern day is divided into 24 hours of 60 minutes each. The Vedic day is divided into 60 ghati of 60 pala 
which is equal to 24 minutes each. Thus, in a day, there are 60 ghati equals 24 hours. Each minute is divided into 60 seconds. Likewise, each pala is divided into 60 vipala equal to 24 seconds. Modern timekeeping is in terms of hour, minute and second. Vedic timekeeping is in terms of ghati, pala and vipala. One vipala equals 0.4 second. 60 vipala equals one pala. 60 pala equals one ghati. 60 ghati equals one day. 30 days equals one month, masa. Two months equals one season, ritu. Three seasons equals one ayana, which is six months. Two ayana equals one year. 60 years equals one Sambhatsara, which is the Hindu equivalent of century.